Hello everyone and welcome to the Dex of the Weekend. This is my weekly video every Monday where I go over what happened in the week and what cards caught my attention and obviously I had to go, I had to kick things off with Leyline of the Guild Pact. This is the card that was just legal last week and many players chose to switch off to it. Some, some great names as well like Luis Cot Vargas, um, this deck had a very good win percentage, although not that many people played it, so, you know, small simple sides, but it did top eight Showcase Modern, top eight the American RC, and here we are talking about the decks that, you know, may uh, definitely be the, the, the one that changed the most since uh, Murders of Karl of Manor. Not a very powerful set, but it added some cards to Modern for sure. Um, you can say that the card, like the single card, that, you know, is showing up the most is Leland of the Guild Pact, which is this kind of crazy card, because it does nothing, but it does also a lot of things when you open in your opening end. In this deck in particular, it fixes your mana so that you don't have to take any damage, but outside of that, you can cast a 1 mana Leland Binding and a 2 mana Silent of Draco. It's even better in Zoo deck. I've streamed the main Zoo uh, Today I've streamed these both decks, and in Zoo you even have Treble Flames, and you have you know Territorial Cavu, like you know actual domain deck. Whereas in Rhinos, um, it's also good because you can pitch it to Force of Negation and Subtlety. Whereas in Zoo, well, if you draw it later, you can only discard it off of a uh, uh, off of the um, what's it called the Cavu. You don't have that many like ways to exploit it. Whereas uh, here you have subtlety, force of negation, force of vigor, and so on. This is four color rhino, so you get to play the Dranith Magistrate to host Living End. Living End at an insane weekend, but just Cascade decks at an insane weekend in general. Actually, Cascade won like every RC that happened so far, I believe, outside of the Brazilian one that was won by Scam last week. Well, it won in Europe by Marco Del Pivo, and then this week there was three RC. In uh, Canada, in Ottawa, was won by uh, Living Gen versus uh, Blue White uh, Narset. I'll be streaming that deck tomorrow. In uh, America, uh, Team of Rhinos, just regular Team of Rhinos, won against uh, Living End. And uh, in uh, Japan, uh, Living End also won. So, uh, yeah, two Living End won and one Rhino. Cascade is everywhere. Scam and, Scam and Merc died, not. Nowhere to be seen. Uh, Yog there's three Yogamot in the top eight as well, so I would say that uh, the um, the meta game is very much narrowing down now to two or three decks, which, again, if you remember what I wrote uh, some weeks ago after the ban of Fury and Beanstalk, this is kind of what happened there. Heavily disagreeing with that ban, but it is what it is. And uh, now let's try to see if the lane of the Guild Pact will change some things in, in these decks. Um, unclear if Domain Rhinos is better than Team of Rhinos yet, but, you know, they have uh, their pros and cons. And another card that obviously showed up a lot is the uh, Skyland, the Surveillance, that were in so many decks. Uh, Yuki Chikawa in Esper Animator, that's top painted as well, that played up to three. You see mostly two. Here in particular, the player that came uh, uh, second uh, with this deck, Mac Hendra, said that Maybe play the um, Celestia one over Edge Mates, but uh, again, we're just in week one, so there will be a lot of small differences that will happen. But this is definitely something to consider. And if you like to play right now, something that you might pick up because this card is uh, yeah, very powerful when you open it and go turn to X proof Rhino, S sorry, X proof Sign of Draco, you do win the game in many matchups. Let's go over uh, some other formats that I want to go over today. Uh, one is Legacy, a good friend of mine, uh, Rick Rin. Uh, he's from my town and he uh, d did very well this past weekend, uh, splitting the challenge on uh, uh, Saturday. And then Sunday, so Sunday on Magical Land was like a very weird day. There was a lot of bugs happening and just Magical Land just dropping for people from tournament, which is kind of crazy, you know, because like there is not that much reinforcement you can do once I've spent so many hours playing this tournament he just dropped me from. But anyway, he was dropped in the top eight somehow. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know how that reinforcement is going to go for him, but <laughs> he's throwing out there that he was uh, he split the final on Saturday and was dropped in top eight um, with this deck. So what is this deck? 
This deck is blue black reanimator, yet you have entomb, animate dead, and Atraxa, but you turn into scam post sideboard because you have Murktai, Dirty Void Walker, a licensed Earth, and so on. I believe this deck comes from originally Arkan. I'm gonna tag him as well in my tweet. Uh, when I tag Rick Green because I think that that's his original idea, but you know, um, it's definitely uh, good to showcase also the players who actually uh, go deep in these kind of tournaments. So uh, very happy to see again my my, my friend doing well. Uh, this is a deck that's super interesting. We I've I've showed you Ogak Blue Black Ogak a few uh, few weeks ago. Uh, this is. Even more than that, because you actually ran it at tracks uh, or Arcan of Cruelty with actual Entomb and Animate Dead, you know, so like main deck, you really are an animator deck. And then post sideboard, you can cut up to these 11 slots and you have up to 11 uh, flex slots. So you can do that complete switch. And this is something that you can mostly do at close deck list, but now whenever you see your opponent main decking Entomb and Animate Dead in a blue deck, you definitely should expect some Merc Tides and, you know, and not just go all in on Layla of the Void and Surgical Effects. Let's go over to Pioneer finally to finish it. Um, I am going to start to play Pioneer a lot uh, with uh, the, the Proto Preparation, which will start for me in two days. In two days, I'm going to go to Chicago uh, for the Magic Con, for the Pro Tour, which is going to be Pioneer. So I have to start, uh, you know, start to actual test this format a lot. I had a, I, I tested it a few days, but you know, uh, I definitely uh, looked forward the paper, the paper practice mostly. And uh, so uh, in in few days, you will definitely, uh, sorry, in few weeks, you will definitely see the pro tour and all that happens here. But what do we have here? So this deck topated the showcase, which was again, this quite important event. Uh, the, the, um, the modern one was won by, um, I think it was Living End. There was three Living End in that modern showcase. Now that I think about it, I didn't mention it earlier, but that's another important thing to mention. And this Pioneer one had uh, this deck top painting with, with a lot of new cards. We have No More Lies, which is the new mana leak. We have Lightning Elix, which also got added to a Pioneer with the new set. We have Deadly Cover Up. Now, this is a super interesting one. It's a Wrath of God for five. And if you collect Evidence Six, meaning that you exiled, you know, cards with a converted mana value, six combined, you can surgical all their cards. So for example, against Phoenix, this is huge because you go, you know how like Supreme Verdict is not good against Phoenix. Like the Phoenix Clearing is not good against Phoenix, but what you do is you do the, you play the Dead Cover Up, you kill everything, and then you exile all the Phoenix from the deck and the graveyard. And you can do that against Amali as well. So that's cool. Uh, you also have Cranko Buzz Crusher, which is a uh, destroy land that actually doesn't target, so you can kill the Lotus Field, and that is that is important. They definitely made this card in this format to kill a uh, Lotus Field, and it is uh, nice to see it showcasing in this Bring to Light deck. Mana is Super Mega Rainbow, and of course the Sivak Heritage, and up the Beanstalk. In both formats, in this format, is both legal up the Beanstalk and Yorian, showing you that this is just such a random ban in the modern. But whatever, let's not continue talking about how random the ban of Beanstalk and Yorian was in modern uh, in their respective time. But it is what it is. Uh, we have um, it illegal here. Uh, you have also Niv Mizer Reborn. You can bring to light into Niv Mizer, but most also bring to light into Valky. That's a super powerful play. You can also bring to light into Selfless Relief Reaver and cast the backside. So bring to light is super good in this deck. This deck is actually super fun to play. Uh, definitely, I have a build I need to... <laughs> uh, it took a while to build because it's 95 cards and I, so it takes a while to uh, practice and learn it, but it's definitely something I want to do. So um, yeah, that's going to be it. I will not be doing the extra weekend for two weeks now because on Wednesday I go to Chicago I will just switch off my content creator brain uh, I have planned one video a day for my YouTube channel so um, of course from the stream so if you couldn't catch the stream you will have some um, you know daily mango entertain if you uh, if you want and uh, yeah outside of that just follow me on my socials and I will definitely be posting a lot of magic, even though I am not actually making and playing some games. I love to play, 
as a content creator, I think that, uh, you know, uh, I guess like talking like this video is fine, but mostly I love to showcase my, my gameplay leagues, uh, one or two hour, which is a lot, but I hope you can all enjoy that. And yeah, that's it. So if you arrive to here, remember to uh, subscribe to the channel uh, to not miss the next videos and, you know, leave a comment because they all help and... Uh, Thank you for everything. I also do, I also did a lot of Mango's workshop video last week. We have recorded four. So my editor Tommy, he's been working on them. They will come out. So also make sure to check out Mango's workshop. We will be doing some uh, like a lot of uh, videos over there. That's it. Thank you for everything and uh, have a good day.